Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video that I made for you. I'm going to show you exactly where you're at online, how much business you get from Google searches, and how much business your competitors get, and what, exactly what it's going to take to get you to corner the market for people looking for photography or photographers here in uh, San Diego. Okay. So as you can see, we're on my business site. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing service here in San Diego. So please visit amplocal.com to get more information if you'd like. Uh, but I just want to jump straight into video. So as we can see, we're on your website. So oneexposure.com. So as you may already know, over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, whether it be a photographer or videographer or a limousine service, or they need to get their carpet clean, or they're looking for new real estate, they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to extract information, all right, and to find companies. Um, and 96% of them are going to click on the very first page. Only 4% will click on the second page. So knowing this, getting you at the top of these searches can incredibly can grow your business incredibly huge, exponentially from what it is right now, all right. So um, I just I'm gonna jump right into here and, and then just t start talking to you about how to find your business all right so if somebody needed a photographer they may type in something like just photography in san diego or photography san diego all right um that keyword photography here in san diego gets used you know uh that one just 16 about 1600 times per month but somebody's looking for a photographer or something related to photography or videography or anything of that nature around 15 to 16,000 times per month so that this is a huge uh, opportunity for you and your company to invest into these services that I'm trying to show you here. Um, right now, expo oneexposure.com, I can't get any click data because it's so in obscurity it can't be found on the internet unless you type in the URL directly, okay? And I'm sure this is something you already know. Um, so all your business, I'm sure right now, is by word of mouth, referrals, friends and family and stuff of that nature. But what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how to bring actual new clients to your business, new business for people looking for your services here in San Diego. All right. You one of your top competitors. All right. Um, this is, uh, let's see, this is photography. Let's see, which one is this? Uh, true photography weddings. Okay. So they're one of your top uh, competitors here in San Diego. They get 730 new leads per month to their website. Okay, that's huge. All right, so that's the potential growth that we're talking about here. Imagine having that much business. Um, so some things to talk about. So you may already know uh, this is your map listings. Okay, this is showing Google who are the local uh, businesses here in San Diego. All right. Or if your business, if you're based out of Rancho San Diego or El Cajon, I'm not sure, or the Mesa, you know, wherever your business really wants, you want to be local, uh, we will get you in the local listings there. Okay. I'm just doing this from San Diego because there's of course a lot more business in San Diego. There's a bigger population. All right. So the goal is to get you in the maps and the top of the organics. Okay. Um, and of in whatever city you may serve, so La Mesa, all right, just for example, right? Um, so how do we get you there? So Google has an algorithm. It has over 200 determining factors, okay? I'm just going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Once we nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. So the first thing, being mobile friendly. So 60, 80% of people, when they use, when they're looking for a service, they're going to use their iPhone or Android. So you got to look great, but Google takes this very seriously. So you have to be mobile friendly. So for you, your site is mobile friendly. So I did my, I ran a mobile friendly test with your website here and it is mobile friendly. All right. The next thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So when we go to your home page, what Google wants to know is, are you educating uh, consumers? All right. Are you giving them ample information relevant to your, your niche, to your market? You know, so are you mentioning photography, videography, um, in San Diego or La Mesa many times, all right, what we want to have is 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page, okay? Now, your page does look nice. You have great examples of your work on the home page, which is awesome. We want to keep that, but we want to add some content to the page. So right now, there's no content really whatsoever on this home page, all right? So we got to add some keywords, you know, on there to, to show Google to, to give you a chance to pop up in the searches, okay? 
Um, let me show you what authoritative content looks like. So I, I typed in elephant, okay, in the Google. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. They're notorious for popping up number one because of authoritative content. All right, look at this page. There's probably 50,000 words on the evolution, the habitat, everything about elephants, right? So just to give you an example, this is excessive, all right? But this is what I mean by authoritative content. You need a few paragraphs of educational information um, about your business and services on the home page, okay? 1,000 to 2,000 words, and we can build that for you, all right? Next, um, local listings, we also call these citations. So this is how we get our business listed on the internet, right? And Google takes these very serious as well. So right now, I can't find your business listed anywhere on the internet. I know you have a Google and Instagram, but um, you don't have an address on there, okay? So for these listings, Google takes us serious for the maps. You have Right now, you have 100% error rate, so everything's wrong with it. Um, you're not Google verified, you're not in Yahoo, Facebook, being Yellow Pages, or White Pages, okay? This is the top 50 in the country. There's hundreds of them, um, but we want to, and we want to get you listed in hundreds of them over time, definitely in the top 50, so I can't find any listings for you right now. I know you have a Facebook, but like I said, you have to have an address on there. You have to be verified uh, through Google, and every time you do them, business name, address, and phone number have to be listed on all of them, okay? And we can do these for you. We'll get you listed over time, all right? Last one, these are your backlinks, okay? We also call them influence pages. So Google is a huge popularity contest, right? The more votes you have, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chances you're gonna win presidency. These are what those backlinks are, okay? So as of right now, you don't have any websites mentioning you, okay? So the way you get these is you could potentially have a customer that has a website or writes a blog. They'll mention you on that article, all right? And it'll show Google that you have a vote and then anyone reading it can click and now you have a new prospect, um, but that's how you get them. But doing business with us, we have actually unlimited amounts of backlinks or, uh, or domains for you to link to that are very high quality. Okay, so right now you have zero. Um, this is saying that there's zero websites mentioning you zero times, okay? And your trust flow is the quality of these domains. So let me just pull your top competitor here and show you what theirs looks like, okay? So, you, so we can have some numbers to play with. All right, so here we go. There's So this is saying there's 718 websites mentioning them almost 40,000 times, all right? And their trust flow, the quality of these domains is 19. So let me show you this meter. 19 is putting them almost high quality. What's great about us, see this is considered low hanging fruit is because all of our backlinks are 25 and plus. Very, very high quality so we can dominate the space and get you listed in all of these domains over time, okay? So that's what what's great about us. We can dominate the space. And what, like I said, whatever city you want to be locally uh, targeted for, whether it be La Mesa, El Cajon, or um, uh, anywhere Lakeside or anywhere in that area, um, we can get you listed there and, and get you at the top of those searches, okay? Um, I didn't show you this earlier before I go. So if you're ranked number one, obviously that's 35% of the market. Organics, if you're ranked number one organics and maps, it could be up to 70% of the market. All right, up for each keyword. All right, so you could potentially uh, grow your business exponentially with this information. So that pretty much concludes my video. Um, I appreciate the time you took it to watch it. Um, you have my contact information. I hope this makes sense uh, for you and your business. Um, I'd love to partner with you and help you grow your business online and watch you get a bunch of new leads. Um, I've been doing this for a while, um, so I just be the basics you know getting it google verified to get it online get it in the maps you know start linking it to some high power domains that we have you know um so i'd love to work with you uh please contact me um and we can take the next step get your proposal and get you um get you some work going and get your business out there and exposed all right so thanks again have a great day and i'll be hearing from you soon thanks bye